this is a, a quick walk around review of the Scott E Aspect 920 uh, E mountain bike EMTB. As you can see, it's a very nice, uh, sleek design with a, a frame integrated battery, and the central motor around the pedals there is um, relatively unusual. Uh, it's a Bros motor. Bros are a German company. They they uh, made uh, in the main they make motors for the automotive industry. I think this particular motor is based on a, a steering motor from a car. Uh, so they're going to have a lot of experience in that area obviously uh, and having ridden it I can tell you it's a very nice powerful crank drive and probably the best thing about it compared to other motors is it's very very quiet so it's great for just uh, uh, skating along in the wild and enjoying the peace and quiet. The battery itself is uh, 509 watt hours so that's a a kind of a standard capacity comparable with your Bosch and your Yamaha systems certainly uh, so it should should give you a, a similar range to those other uh, EMTBs from other major manufacturers Scott themselves just to tell you a, a, a give you a little brief history about Scott uh, they originated it with um, ski equipment I think in the 50s actually uh, but have, in recent decades they've certainly been very accomplished bike makers um, and they now have a, have a very good range of uh, electric mountain bikes featuring a wide range of motors and designs uh, this E aspect is uh, uh, towards the bottom towards the lower priced end of their range being a being a hard tail and the components on it being uh, very good quality but not the not the absolute um, top end of the range components on it uh, which you pay more for which tend to just save you a little bit of weight and perhaps just be a little bit smoother uh, but um, this is really a very well equipped uh, hard tail EMTB Perhaps the main thing to say about it in overall design terms is it's what's known as a 29er based on the the 29 inch size rims which uh, were introduced from road bike size uh, they're perfectly good for um, despite all sorts of online debates about how fast or slow they are they're very very good I would say on this kind of heart tail uh, for uh, kind of intermediate riders and people who just want to tackle kind of bumpy cross-country terrain rather than get into extreme handling situations they'll roll the, the bigger the wheel the more easily it rolls over terrain generally so these being the biggest uh, mountain bike rims you can get um, mm -hmm. in common serial manufacture uh, I would say they're a, a very good choice on this particular design of bike uh, the bike itself, uh, having a, a step over frame, comes in two frame sizes. I think you have a, a choice of large and small. So we'll just take a look now, a closer close up look. Uh, this is just to show detail. you how the frame integrated battery comes out. Um, first of all, you just need to unlock the lock at the bottom, like that, and then just simply pull it out that comes out fairly easily that's a nice strong plastic case on the battery and you can also see push button capacity indicators there showing you you've got a full battery so that's a handy feature as well when the battery's off the bike it can be charged on or off the bike via that port and that's quite a secure rubber cover you've got there uh, if you just look within the frame there then you've got the actual electrical connections just here and also here you've got a spring which just tensions the battery against the against the lock when the lock is locked so it stays nice and rigid in the frame having ridden it I can tell you it uh, it does stay nice and rigid in the frame 
Also at the top, you've got another another spring mount, another spring tensioner just there again to keep it rigid in the frame. So putting it back in the frame to make sure it's securely locked in. Bob it in from the top, press it down firmly, lock the key back and out, and then to make sure it engages the lock, just press it down there and you're in the lock at the bottom. Okay, look at the cockpit area. First of all, we've got very nice wide bars, which are excellent for giving you uh, close control if you hit rocks and bumps. Uh, your hands, nice and wide apart, will, will let you uh, correct the steering very easily. And it's got a lovely little display here. Um, I think this is uh, some kind of acrylic glass over the display there. We'll just turn it on, hopefully you can see when it comes on. Even on a sunny day with the sun on it like this, it's a nice bright display there. You can clearly see what's going on. Uh, and it's very, very simple to use. It's just a rocker switch. So that's power level one on. You can see one block, power level two, three, and so on. Speedometer in the middle in miles an hour and a battery capacity indicator. And that's it. Uh, it's, it's the smallest um, control unit, display and handlebar control com combined I've actually seen. Uh, so uh, not a lot more to be said about that. If you want more information you'll uh, probably have to look at other bikes because that's all you get on this but uh, I really liked it, really nice and minimal uh, and really is, is all I needed for a good day out. Coming over to the right hand side you've got your uh, lockouts here. So for road riding you can lock the front suspension on there as you can see and if I knock it off that gives you your uh, suspension back at the front end and finally we've got uh, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. These are really nice uh, little levers on them as well. Nice short levers just to give you one or two finger control so you can keep most of your hand on the handlebar and just feather and control the brakes as and when you need it. And coming down here we've got rock shocks on the front with about 100 millimeters of travel I think uh, which is uh, isn't the biggest amount of travel but again it's fine for the spec of the bike which is for um, uh, moderate to hard trails uh, rather than extreme terrain where you're going to be dropping off big rock steps and the like. And finally, you take a look at these tyres. Uh, they're Maxxis Forecasters. They're, they're pretty standard mountain bike tyres really. 2.35 inch wide uh, and quite an, a good aggressive tread. Um, so if you run them at low pressure, about 30 psi, as I've been doing, they'll be giving you plenty of grip on uh, muddy, slippy trails. Now it's getting to winter in early November. Um, they were really very good and up to the job. We'll just have a quick look at the motor here. This is, the, as I say, the Bros Mid Drive. Uh, it's very sleek, as you can see. 3.4 kilograms makes it one of the lighter crank motors out there. Uh, the plastic casing right around it, I assume, is to an extent sacrificial, uh, so it's meant to protect it if it does get a big bang, especially as it may do from underneath, uh, if you're going over rock steps, etc., uh, just to, to protect the, uh, the metal casing, which is underneath it, is a metal encased motor. Uh, and then coming to the back, you've got a Shimano SLX Dark Shadow Derailleur, uh, which is, is fine, it's just a standard, uh, very well performing mountain bike specific derailleur. You can tell in part as it has this lockout here, uh, which is like a little ratchet system. And the main function of that is to stop the chain banging and slapping about, coming off the chain wheel and, and hitting the frame as well. 
also you've got extra protection here a nice big rubber strip uh, added strength as well you've got a through axle this is a captive nut here so uh, you just undo the quick release at the other side as you can see that quick release there just undo that quick release there and it uh, pulls out the axle you then need to knock off your little ratchet there to be able to take the uh, to allow more movement in the derailleur and remove the rear wheel one other footnote just about the motor here uh, this is the basic bros motor they have recently introduced a mountain bike specific motor uh, with a bit more torque and performance but for for uh, Pennine trails I was going up pretty steep Pennine trails fairly rough uh, bridleways with this this motor and uh, it performed excellently uh, but you can read more about that on the uh, full report so just to summarize this is the Scott E Aspect 920 Hardtail EMTB uh, great for all kinds of uh, entry level um, electric mountain biking and for rougher bridleways as well currently retailing for uh, 2315 at 50cycles.com and you can see full ride details and a fuller ride report and more pictures at electricbikeman.com